Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week four, I believe, of our PGL matches. And this is going to be up against Will, aka Hannons. We have faced him twice before between two seasons of the PGBL. And he's kind of had our number so far, but obviously this is a completely new team. Our overall team matchup is not that great in my opinion, but especially when I got to see the 6v6, I did really like our chances. So first time bringing the Mega Alakazam, I did uh, definitely fix that Zygarde set. Pretty standard Halucha and Electrode, but they do a lot of work against his team. And immediately we see the Silvali, Ash Greninja, the Mega Mawai, which I'm terrified of the Superior, which is gonna be a huge problem. Um, and the Bronzong and the Porygon Core. The Bronzong Porygon Core terrifies the heck out of me. It can absolutely wall off my team and I can't let that happen. I just faced off against another Bronzong and it was really difficult to play around. But like I said, I do like our chances in this one here. So I'm just gonna go into it. Um, I kind of was debating whether to lead off with the Alakazam or to lead off with the Electrode. I knew it was gonna be one of those two, but it was really down to the wire which one I was going to go with. I did end up leading with the Electrode. I did call correctly that Bronzong lead and I went into the Electrode so I can try and taunt this Bronzong turn one, which I think I end up doing successfully as he goes for the rocks, if I'm not mistaken. But I really did just want to like get off some damage and kind of didn't even care about rocks, just extra damage here and there. But I figured there was no harm in just doing it. So. I did it, he actually stayed in. I didn't Vol Switch, I just stayed in and Thunderbolted. And he Psy shocks me and gets a heckin' crit off of this Psy Shock. And immediately I'm like, Jesus Christ, how, how strong is this Bronzong? But it was a crit, even so, still does more than I would have expected. I did invest more specially defensively into this. Um, Electrode with the leftover EVs, but still, yikes. Then in comes this thing, as I finally go for the Volt Switch, Volt Switch is going to do enough damage to the Bronzong anyway where I could bring something in to deal with it, but I, it does also cover the Switch into the Porygon 2, and I go into the Umbreon. My only thinking here is that I can try and Toxic this thing right off the bat, which I do, and it can't really talk to me back. I'm thinking I kind of wall this thing off a little bit. Um, it can't really do anything too crazy, but it goes for the trick room. And right now I am terrified, right? I'm just blown away that this dude came in here with the darn trick room team. So at this point, I have no idea what to expect. His team is fast. The trick room was the last thing that I was expecting. I didn't see it as an answer to my team in particular. My team is decently fast, but I didn't think of it as fast enough for trick room would be necessary, but in comes the Mawile, and now I'm getting incredibly scared. Now, in fairness, I really, really should have uh, probably foul played here, try to get some damage out on the Mawile. I didn't really expect the Mawile to come in right now, but I end up just throwing up a wish on that switch. And then I believe I go for the Baton Pass just because I knew it was probably going to Swords Dance, but I didn't want it to like try to take this as an opportunity to set up like to plus four. Uh, even though it didn't really matter whether or not it did. Um, and this is another situation. Protect would have been great on this Umbreon. It would have bought me a turn, but I have this wish thrown up there. Um, I go into the Electrode. Honestly, I'm, I'm either sacking off the Electrode or I'm um, passing it the wish. Either way, it's going to do something for me, momentum-wise. But now I'm, I'm in the Electrode and it gets its HP back. And I'm thinking, okay, I can still use it later. I go into my Alakazam because I'm thinking at this point it's the most expendable member. So I just let it go in this situation. But now I I have just more mods that I have to sack. I, there's two more turns left of Trick Room. So I just end up giving up the Umbreon. The Umbreon, again, wasn't the biggest deal in this matchup. So I just let it go as the Twisted Dimensions return to normal. And I go into Zygarde because it's the only mod I have that can deal enough damage and can scare away the threat of the, thucker, the Sucker Punch. So I just go for the Thousand Arrows here. And... He had hecka HP investment, so there was, wasn't really anything I could do, unfortunately. I just had zero chance um, with enough HP investment to take out the Mega Mawile, and uh, he did tell me after that it was max HP, I believe, but either way, um, even just a little bit of HP investment would have prevented even my max attack adamant um, monster to be able to take it out. So I just go into this thing, and I kind of expected a Sucker Punch here. I'm kind of surprised he didn't, but he... Instead, tries to switch out. I just go for the Volt Switch here. 
Or, you know, just in case, I don't know, something happened. I wanted to get a little bit of initiative. Either way. I end up going out into the Halucha. Now, this is a huge, huge, huge turn. Because I was debating so very hard whether to go to, for the Swords Dance or to just get the damage with Drain Punch, right? And I end up going for the Drain Punch. But if I had Swords Dance here... So the reason that I didn't Swords Dance, first of all, is because I was afraid of the Trick Room. If he sets up another Trick Room, I think he just wins straight up. I don't think there's anything I could do at that point if he sets up a second Trick Room at this stage in the game, but he doesn't do that. He lets me drain punch this thing, uh, and just thunderbolts me, lets me take this thing out, which I, st I still don't understand that play like now, and I know we t we've talked it over, but, so it doesn't make sense to me now, but I never get the sword stance up, which ends up being able to, which ends up, uh, causing me to miss this Oko on this thing, which, which I guess I wouldn't have gotten the Oko anyway, so I guess fair enough. Sword Dance wouldn't have helped me in this situation anyway, but it's not even really the point because I feel like a Sword Dance in that situation would have forced in the Bronzong at some point. I don't know how confident he would have been bringing this in against Sword Dance Halucha. He might have, I don't know. But now I bring in the Primarina. The Primarina is scarfed. Uh, scarfed enough to outspeed the Superior by one point, and. Um, I was afraid that he was going to find out on the Sil Valley Moonblast that I was Scarfed, but he doesn't realize it yet. He told me that it's like as min speed, like negative speed nature and, and all that jazz, but I would have had to been like max speed to even like outspeed that, so I don't know. It's, it's the difference between base 60 and base 95. But either way, I'm, I'm in this position where I'm, where I'm in against the Superior, and I'm thinking, okay, if I switch out, I can take the first Leaf Storm, at least the initial Leaf Storm, I can take that. I can, um, I can Signal Beam for damage, and then Moonblast should clean up once I get the free switch back into Dream Arena. And now I'm thinking in my head, I have a matchup against his ent the entire rest of his team. The, the, um... So Valley's incredibly weak, the Mawa's really weak, I can take this thing out in front of me, and it's pre-marine against the world, it's pre-marine against five Pokemon right now. Um, but I can Oko the Greninja, and I found out after the match that the only thing that the Greninja had to hit me with was HP Electric. The only thing that I couldn't hit was this dang Bronzong that comes in right now, and it's going to eat up these hits, it's going to eat up these hits. Now. In a hypothetical situation where I had gone for a sword stance and I had baited in the Bronzong uh, on the Halucha, I would have been able to do over half to this bronze, or just about half, somewhere around there. And then this was max HP, max defense. And you can see, at, after one moon blast, it's left at just under 50%. So, that would have been enough to ultimately uh, break down this Bronzong, but it just didn't happen, dude. <laughs> and Halucha would have been in an okay position. I probably would have just gone for the Gyro Ball, I would guess. But as you can see, this Bronzong ends up taking out my Primarina. But, again, so in a hypothetical situation where a Halucha gets a 50% Drain Punch off on the Bronzong, this Primarina, at the end of the game, would have been able to take out that Bronzong. Um, it would have been able to take out the Savali, which was weakened, and I'm Scarfed to outspeed it. Uh, it took out the, the Superior, which I was Scarfed to outspeed. The Mawa would have had to gone for Sucker Punch. And uh, the Greninja would have gone had to have gone for HP Electric. And I count it out after the match. Um, even the HP Electric from a Max um, uh, Attack Greninja even like modest and in max attack adamant uh Mawa would not have been able to to together take out my Primarina. So Primarina did actually have a chance to take out the final five of his mons, um as weak as they were, if it wasn't for the dang bronzong. And if I had gone for that sword stance in that situation, I could have actually Pulled it out, possibly, maybe. I don't know. It could. Th th it could have gone to some crazy rolls. I don't know. It could have uh, gone to some crazy crits. Who in the heck knows? But all the calculations lead to the fact that Primarina could have won this game. But in the end, I was just so thrown off by a full-on trick room. Uh, Bronzong and Porygon too. Is uh, we got to see. 
And yeah, it was just the last thing that I that I was expecting, and I just had to keep giving up Mons to this darn Mawile with that Source Dance up. It was brutal. It really, it really did hurt to just have to give up these mons to this Mawile. This Mawile took out three of my Pokemon, and all I needed was another 50% onto that Bronze Song, and I would have probably been able to take out the rest of his team. But you know what? We are going to do our absolute best to come back from this 0-4 record. Jesus, uh, it's okay. We're gonna come back at at least a couple wins. Guaranteed at least a couple wins. It always feels like it's one mon in between me and getting the W that I need. I feel like I'm decent at putting myself in decent positions, but like I said, one mon just stands between me and winning the match. In any case, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. We'll be back with more PGL matches and UEL matches really, really soon. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.